it's quiet, it's a nice neighborhood, and it's disappointing when something like that happens. A complaint from a neighbor leads police to a Buffalo baker, a man they say was making cookies for his customers. But these were definitely not the kind of cookies that grandma makes. Police say these batches made by this man were filled with pot. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kendra Eaglin shows us tonight, this once lucrative operation has crumbled. Neighbors who live on Nicholas Street in North Buffalo describe the neighborhood best. It's just so quiet. I mean, it's a dead on street. We don't have a lot of traffic. But over the past couple of weeks, there had been a lot of late night traffic. Police say in the bushes, just past the manicured lawns, this man, 24 year old Sebastian Kajawa, had been selling pot cookies and marijuana to a steady stream of customers. And the cookie man wasn't discreet about his baked goods. Police discovered the baker advertised his products on Craigslist. Here's the ad posted in the casual encounter section. Got great bud around UB. Hit me up if you're in the need of some great bud. It would be best if you drive because I don't. We're all a little nosy, so <laughs> definitely don't come over here and try to start any trouble. Police were tipped off by one of those suspicious neighbors who said a white male would come through uh, some high brush from one of the streets on the other side and he would appear to be handing packages to several customers who would pull up in cars and then leave. Investigators set up a sting operation on Tuesday night and like clockwork, the suspected baker emerged from the bushes, made the sale, then disappeared back into the brush. Minutes later, police arranged for the customer to set up a bogus sale and caught the cookie man red handed. In exchange, charges against the customer were dropped. The arrest, a bittersweet surprise for Kajawa. He was kind of surprised that uh, they were arresting him and as one of the detective said, that's the way the cookies crumble. And here's the police report. Kajawa now facing several charges, including criminal sale and possession of marijuana. Police say Kajawa was selling the cookies for $10 a pop. Investigators say he lived only a few blocks away from his drive-by operation and had lost his job as a chef. Kendra Eaglin, 7 Eyewitness News.